Tracy, baby, you called? Yeah, look, Dad, we're worried. I'm worried, too. I really want to see you. Well, I don't want to see you. You need help, like serious, serious help. And if you don't get it, you're gonna be killed. Tracy, I love you. But you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I tried, Daddy. That's all I could do. This was a nice car. The FIB Townley? Why does it not surprise me? You are in restricted airspace. Divert your course or you will be shot down. How have you been? Oh, simply wonderful. And you? About the same. Somewhere stuck between joyful and peachy. Even in this world full of scum and detritus, it's only right that we all bear our share. Ain't that the truth? <laughs> Take this poor wretch. On the run, desperate, alone, about to learn the true meaning of suffering. All for a few thousand bucks. Think you can find him for me? Every man has his talents, Maud, and the rigorous administration of justice is, uh, it's one of mine. That's why I love you, Trevor. I'll send you his file.
Hey, bud. What you doing? Nothing. What you up to, Cletus? Uh, hunting. Hunting? Hunting what? Retirees? Nah, just up. Uh, windows, antenna, tires. Thurman! Ah, so that was you. Is the season for it. I don't give a shit about no season. <laughs> oh, good, huh? Don't let the regulations get you down. That's what I'm saying. Hey, hey, hey. You want to come hunting with me? It'll be real neighborly of you. Hell, why not? All right, then. Up here with you. I ain't in no mood for no punch-up right now. Maybe later. Okay, you see them three big satellite dishes? A decent shot, and they'll go down easier than a whore's drawers. You're a real pillar of the community. Half the folks in this town would sell their own mother, and most of the other half already did. Screw them. Yeah, that's it. Give them hell. Shoot another one. <laughs> no more reality TV for you, Mrs. Gilbert. Okay, one more for the road. Boom! <laughs> Didn't I tell you this would be more fun than a barrel full of pussies? Ooh, you're a classy date, Cletus. No denying that. <laughs> now drive us up to that abandoned motel. I got an even better idea. <laughs> so, what now? We gonna try our luck on something less stationary. Ooh, liberals? Nothing as slippery as that. You'll see. Well, we'll take your vehicle then. You've got way too much time on your hands. Nah, this is just a bit of foolery. I've been busier than hell with the real hunting. The money in wild organic meat these days, you wouldn't believe. Them hipsters will give you their parents' last dime for it. It's gotten so I can't even keep up with the demand no more. All this eat local, small batch, farm to table bullshit. You know, I could maybe use another pair of hands if I can get you up to snuff with that rifle. You keep on criticizing my shooting, you'll be starring in a snuff with that rifle. Here we are. Don't aim at something you ain't prepared to kill. I bet you never shut out the tires on a car before. Oh, you'd be surprised. Well, let's see what you got then. Ain't you gonna shoot anything, Cletus? Nah, I do this all the time, and I wanna see how you deal with a moving target. This is perfect right here. Pick a car and shoot a tire. Good, plain, old-fashioned fun. Don't get your panties in a wall now. Metal don't count. Nice! Go on, one more, just for the hell of it. Shit for brains. I never knew you were... Such an agitator, Cletus. All these damn tourists coming out here to gop at rednecks. Give them what they want, I say. That ain't right. That's it, beauty. And again, Trevor. Sometimes I come up here with my girl. I ain't the prettiest, but she can handle a firearm like a Marine. Mm, she got lucky with you, all right. Ain't as easy as it looks, is it? Looks like maybe you could use some more practice. Right, let's change it up. Come on, follow me. I have three speeds. On, off, and don't push your luck. Just two fellers killing time in small town America. Don't get much better than this, does it? The two most popular guys in town. Am I glad I ran into you? Ain't nowhere near this fun being antisocial on your own. 
Whatever cranks your tractor, I say. What's up next on the hillbilly anarchist agenda? Ever shot anything with a face? Actually, let me ask it again. Ever shot anything with a face on four legs? Now, Cletus, it's important you realize I'm a man plagued by vicious rumors. Fine. Let's head for the roof. <sighs> Reckon it would be real neighborly of us to get rid of a couple. And we are nothing if not neighborly. We'll get a better shot from up here. Looks like we got two packs of coyotes down there. Take a few of them out and the rest should scatter. Ah! Sing to me now, song dog! And another! Dropped it like a bad habit. I think you got one more in you, Trevor. Hellfire! That should do it. Nicely done. I reckon you should tag along next time I go hunting out at Polito Bay. I'll show you how to bag an elk. Eh, why not? All right, gotta go. I'll send you a text when I'm about. Who the fuck is this? The guy keeping you out of the gas chamber. Townley's on his way. We need to talk face to face. Warehouse off Dutch London and Banning. Oh, we can do more than talk, my friend. Shit, man. Yeah, I know. I take speed mostly. Look at me. Boom! Best shape of my life. Yeah. Yeah. I can still take you, sugar tits. That's because you're fucking deranged. Not because you're in good shape. Hey, why don't you stick to doing fucking crunches and feeling bad about yourself, all right, pork chop? Hey, fuck you. You know, I'm beginning to think that's exactly what you want to do. Yeah. Jesus. I just said the same fucking thing in my life. Did you see his face that last time I popped him? <laughs> Boom! Oh, ladies! God, you're an asshole. You, you back there. I know you, but you? You, I don't know. Yeah, well, until I see reason otherwise, why don't we just keep it that way? Steve, what a pleasure, bro. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> He reminds me of one of those guys you see advertising pills for middle-aged men that can't get erections. <laughs> hey, Devin Weston is a very good friend of mine, so why don't you watch your tongue? Because let me tell you something, that guy gets more tail than, uh... <laughs> than a tail catcher! <laughs> I have to fucking remember that line. <laughs> you, hmm. where did we meet? Nowhere, pal. Yeah, we did. Hey, oh, what are we doing here, huh? This. Please, keep the slick bastard away from me. No, no, no Ferdinand, he's gone. He's gone. It's okay, I've got some new friends here now. No, this okay. is Michael, and this, this is Trevor. No. Now our friend here, he claims he doesn't know I anything. Don't, I don't know anything. I don't know, I already told nothing. Nothing, I don't know anything. Please, please, sir. You know about the Azerbaijanis. Huh? Azerbaijanis. I do audiovisual, hi-fi audiovisual. It's top man, good price, VIP. 
No. You're a so. fucking spy. <laughs> and the asswipes at the agency know this. So I need to know. What did you tell them? And what did they tell you? I told, hmm? I told them what I tell you. Uh-huh. What? I... Hey! This whoa, whoa, matter. what is this? The house in Rockwood Hills. The man who owns it. He works at the consulate. Oh, that's all I know. That's it. That's it. That's it. I go. You're gonna make him speak. No, 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 no. You two are gonna drive up to Rockford Hills. No. And when we find out which man is the man with the problem, you put him down. No, 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 no. Because no, no, I'm tired no. of these fucking nitwits at the agency no. taking all the glory. Let me go. All right, fuck is all this, huh? I think it's a good time, buddy. Who's you know? Time? Go for a drive. Oh, wait, wait. Oh. You get to work, and uh, I'm not here. The guy's your neighbor. Caesar's Place, Rockford Hills. And chop off the weight of hands. Oh, my God. Yeah, the more I see of your boss, the more I like you. I was you, I wouldn't be so critical of who others associate with. So is he gonna be a problem? For sure. But there's nothing we can do about it. If something happened to him right now, I'd be right under a microscope. An electron microscope of bureaucratic shit. And that would make it very difficult to keep old secrets. Oh, well, boo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo -hoo for you. You know who else is having trouble keeping secrets, asshole? Me. After you brought Trevor in on this. I only brought him in after you put out your press release. Townley's taking scores again. The Los Santos reboot. If we didn't control the situation and he'd unearth this connection, then what? Then Trevor flips out, heads me, kills my family, or raises them as his own. I don't know which is worse. Anyway, any of that could happen at any time. Slow down. Let's think this through. What does he know? He knows I'm alive. He knows I got money. And now he knows I'm working with the FIB. Does he know how long you've been working with the FIB? How long? The fuck does that matter? Either you were working with us before the cash depot job, you walked your crew into an ambush, one of them spent 10 years on the run, and the other landed in a federal penitentiary. Or, or, we stumbled on the cash depot job, Brad went down, you went down, Trevor got away, the FIB cut you a deal on your sickbed, faked your death, and you end up here. Who's to say which of those is true? That there's any doubt probably accounts for you being alive. Back there, Trevor made you right away, the second he saw you. You remember after the bust, I was in all the papers. I was on the evening news. The man who killed Michael Town. Yeah, I was quite a trophy. A good head to hang on your wall. Back then, sure. Not now. You crush her sternum, you crush her rib cage, you put your hands around her neck, and you This is bullshit. This place, Davey, they've been shooting the real cunts of suburbia here the last few weeks. No way that's your guy. Shit. You are kidding me. I'll call Steve. Squeezing the love into them, but Wrong house. This guy isn't our guy. Okay, okay, okay. You sure you don't silence him just to make sure? We're silencing someone, we're silencing the right someone. Get me another address. Hey, you want a coffee? Turns out that was the wrong Azerbaijani. We need a new address from Mr. K. Choose your instrument and go to work on it. Where do we start, eh, buddy? Wait, what are you talking about, the wrong guy? No, who do you want? Just tell me what you want, huh, man? Huh, please, look at me, please. This is an important part of the great democratic experiment. That's dangerous! You could kill me! Don't do it! You can't! Not the clips! No, no, no! Come on! Don't kill him. Oh, look at the 
Stop shoving his pants! Uh, 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 uh. <coughs> Mr. Phillips, ask him about Tahir Javan. Uh, why didn't you ask me? I know Tahir. Uh, I did his home, home theater. He lives in Chumash, the right end of the Western Highway. Uh, well, that wasn't so tough, was it? Huh? <laughs> did you get that? Did you hear him? Lives in Chumash, the Western Highway. Shumash, you're driving. Remember, terror does not take coffee breaks. <sighs> what a dick. <laughs> Steve and Trevor getting along. Seems like a productive relationship. You know, like I said, he's got his uses. And as you can see, we're trying to take full advantage of him. Then what? This thing with the agency gets put to rest and we don't need you anymore. Right. And what about Trevor? What about him? I need some resolution, Davey. You let him walk. You said you'd clean the whole thing up back in North Yankton. And you told me it'd be a clean job. No casualties. There are more eyes on that town than they need. Yeah, well, according to my eyes, Trevor's your problem, Dave, as much as he is mine. He's not a problem at all. We're monitoring him. Has he said anything about Brad? Fuck yeah, he has. Plenty. I keep changing the subject. You know, he thinks you might actually commute Brad's sentence when this is all over. That's good. Fine work. We'll send another letter. It's about time anyway. Oh, so that's you who's been sending those fucking letters to Trevor, huh? Yeah. He thinks they're from Brad. Who he thinks is locked up in high security and not, well, not six feet under in a grave marked Michael Town. The trainees write them. It's a good exercise. Yeah, the fuck. How'd that get started? A few years ago, a letter came to the federal prison system addressed to Brad. It wasn't signed, but it gave a P.O. box in Sandy Shores. I played the part of Brad, and we started a correspondence. Yeah, thanks for telling me, Davey. I was doing you a favor. Didn't think you'd want to know he was in the same state. Yeah, so now what? I just sit back and hope he doesn't figure it out? It's worked so far. He's a time bomb, Dave. And you fucking know it. Right, Cheryl? That damn alien gonna come to that ceiling and whoop some human... This'll do. All right. Find out who we're looking for. Yeah, we need a description of the target. Yeah, uh, I'll take care of it. Loosen him up. Oh, no, no, please. I tell what? you what you Loosen want to do. Loosen him know. up! No, please. This is a mental battle, my brother. You gotta convince yourself you're not gonna drown. Not the water! Please don't! Don't do it! It shouldn't be legal! Oh! Ow! Not the water! It's torture! Look at me! I am a genuine government man! <laughs> Talk? I've been ready to talk since the day I got kidnapped six weeks That's ago. That's what we were afraid of. No, I'm even so, more yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk. This guy we're after, what does he look like? Average build. Come on. Average height, middle age. Yeah, yeah. It sounds like you're stalling. This better be hair. enough. Middle age, middle height, middle <laughs> build, whatever. He's dark. So okay, he's Azerbaijani for God's sakes. Look around. <laughs> that enough for you?
We're live. You see anyone down there who might be an Azerbaijani? Fuck do I know? You might be an Azerbaijani for all I know. What's one look like? They look Eastern. Half this town looks Eastern, Davey. You got the fall of the Shah and the collapse of communism to thank for that. Anyone stand out? No, they all kind of blend in. Make a call, Dave. We're gonna need some more info on this guy. They're having a party down there. <sighs> that ain't gonna cut it, my friend. Shit, shit, I, 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 let me think, I... <laughs> Oh, Sorry, too no. late, Trevor. Show our contestant what he's won today. Oh, okay. oh, wait a minute, I remember. Woo! It ain't even the biggest tool in the room. What? Oh, not the wrench. Please don't hit me. Knee shot. <laughs> so what have you got for us? Hmm? We need Trev to shake up your memory again? No, no, no. No, 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 he's got beer. Oh, he's got beer. He, he's got uh -huh. beer. Uh-huh. No. I think you're making this up. No, no, I'm not. Huh? No. Yeah? I'm telling yeah. the truth. beard? You got any beardy types at this party? Huh? Because that's all Mr. K's given us. No. You know, I'm thinking maybe we ought to just take two bullets and put them in our Please, informant no. and just call an airstrike on Chumash Beach. I need eyes on that party. Pick up the scope and give me a report. Who am I looking for? Steve saying beard. What do you got? Anything specific, or is some stubble gonna cut it? Let's start at Mountain Men, and we'll work our way down until someone fits the profile. Well, there's a few beards at this party. Vinewood's full of weak chins. Place is famous for it. Damn. Beards are in fashion in Chumash. Land of beach hipsters. We need more. It's gonna be a long day until you give us some intel on our target. He's a, he's got beer. He smokes. Like he smokes like a fucking chimney. I don't know. Trev, Chim maybe one more time, just to be sure. Oh, please no. Huh? I told you, he, he smokes. That's all I know. Dentistry is an industry that hasn't advanced in the last hundred years. Still a bunch of sadomasochists. Get me whining, please don't. They're all root. They just keep going down. It feel like you ripped my jaw out. I guess our interrogation techniques were a little too advanced. Rise and shine! How long was that out? <laughs> oh, <God>. Mr. K. <laughs> Mr. K. I don't know anything, please. <laughs> okay. He chain smoked. And he's left handed. What's that? He changed smoke. And he's left handed. Ah, okay. <laughs> Any of these bearded guys at the party smoke cigarettes? Mr. K says he smokes like a pack of two a day. Redwood cigarettes? Thank you, Mr. K. Steve's telling me he chain smokes redwoods. It ain't the cigarettes that'll kill him. It's the guys who put the warnings on the packets you should worry about. And he's left handed. Oh, now I get it. You're telling me to assassinate a guy because he's got facial hair, a cigarette, and he's left-handed. I'm... Ah, I see someone. He fits the profile. Yep, fits it all the way. I got a good feeling. Well, as good as you can get while clipping a guy who probably don't deserve it. Now I'm taking the shot. Davey, I got someone. Definitely a lefty. Redwood smoking, bearded, maybe, could be. Used to be, Azerbaijani. Good enough for me. Steve, it's done. Woo, that is a wrap, my friends. Excellent work to the pair of you. Now, I got a rapid ball game to get to, so Trevor, if you take care of Mr. K, I think we're all set. What the <laughs> fuck do you want me to do with him? I would say he's outlived his usefulness. Oh, come on, please. Shut up! That's the sport. <laughs> Let's go, come on. Okay. 
Wait a second, Mitsu. Fuck, let's just go, okay? I ain't gonna let those G-Man fucking scumbags tell me what to do. Oh, what? You just tortured me. Don't ask too many fucking questions. Let's go, get up. Come on, up the fucking stairs. Oh, fuck's sakes. Come on, let's go. All right, now you got a flight to catch, okay? Let's get you to the airport. Oh, safety first. Hey, how's your mouth? It hurts. Can you speak? Kind of. Are you gonna hold it together? I don't want to go home. I want to see my family. No, 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 you have no home. You have no family. That shit is over. I do. They're in the morning wood. I love them very much. No, that's your old life. That's over now. You're off the grid. You're one of the invisible people. Just take me home. I'm taking you to the airport. You're gonna get on a plane. You're flying a long way from this country and you're gonna spread your message. I don't have a message. You're a torture advocate. Advocate? The media and the government would have us believe that torture is some necessary thing. We need it to get information, to assert ourselves. Did we get any information out of you? I would have told you everything. Exactly. Tortures for the torturer, or the guy giving the order to the torturer. You torture for the good times. We should all admit that. It's useless as a means of getting information. I'm feeling lightheaded. Sometimes you torture for the torturee, but only if they're prepared to pay. Departures, no one drives me to the airport. Run, you're free. Oh, what? But my family is here. Your family is probably the ones who got you fucking in here, all right? And look, trust no one, all right? You're alone now. Really? Yeah, really. Now let's go. Fuck off. Come on. Ah. 